basically that you need to know what you're going to do with the story before mm. you bring children to it. Mm. Therefore, the idea of having uh, a, a number of set frames that you can work within mm -hmm. on that is, is very important. Um, I think with with Farmer Duck, we're, we're principally talking about why were particular words used? What was the writer trying to do? What was the writer trying to convey? If you have a template to work against, um, it's, it's easier to draw children where you want them to draw. Again, I give the example of, of the way I worked out myself to handle a book was to get children to do the quacks on their own first of all and mm -hmm. then take them through it so that we played a long game I mean I ended up acting out most of the scenes I'd get somebody to be the duck somebody to be the sheep try to get the sheep on top of the duck mm. all that but they're learning sideways and it's also possible because the characters have characteristics um, because the, the, the duck is long suffering uh, the animals are both loyal and helpful and brave, that you could work out all sorts of other scenarios mm. from within this sort of framework. How do you use these characters in different ways? This is the way Martin Modell has chosen to use them. How would you use them? Many of the children we're dealing with won't have ever been on a farm. They won't know what a farm is like. There's also the question of what a farm is like now and what a farm used to be like. Most of the books, most of the, of the, the farms we see, as with the farm in Farmer Duck, is the way farms used to be. Mm -hmm. Farms now are much more like factories. You can discuss that, you can discuss all sorts of areas around that. The, the book gives you a hook mm -hmm. to hang all sorts of ideas on, all sorts of things you can examine. Uh, uh, what would it be like to be a child on a farm? What would it be like to be a child visiting a farm for the first time? What would it be like to be one of the animals on the farm? How would you feel? The key to this is story. The more they understand story, the, the richer the story will be. They understand story through learning to read well rather than just to read by rote. And to do that you have to think, to think about what you are reading. The more interesting you can make it, the more varied you can make it. It's just not to present the same thing again and again and again, mm. but to have a whole lot of different approaches to the same material is an exciting idea. You've also got to keep the teacher yeah. interested. And if somebody is simply teaching the same thing mm. week after week or to class after class, year after year, it's not going to work. Whereas by doing it in slightly different ways you can get different effects. Mm.